In this week's episode, catastrophic declines in Africa's elephant numbers, a mouth-breathing dolphin stuns scientists, pandas make a comeback, and a dramatic crocodile capture. Starting off with some shocking new data, Africa has lost a third of its elephants in just seven years. That's according to the Great Elephant Census, a continent-wide aerial survey of Africa's elephants covering 18 countries. The dramatic declines have been attributed to an increase in ivory poaching and habitat destruction. And the giant panda is no longer considered an endangered species, thanks to the tireless work of the WWF. The organization has been working for decades to save the charismatic creatures, and there are now 67 panda reserves protecting two-thirds of the world's wild pandas. And a team of researchers has found evidence that Tasmanian devils are evolving resistance to the facial cancers that have been devastating the creature's populations. That's great news for the survival of the species, which has seen a decline of over 80% in less than 20 years due to the facial tumor disease. Off to the U.S. where millions of bees have died in South Carolina. One of the state's counties sprayed the pesticide Nalid in an attempt to wipe out disease-carrying mosquitoes. According to officials, adequate warning was given to residents, but beekeepers felt differently, claiming they were unaware of the plans and did not know how to shield their hives. From land to sea was some good news for whales. A long-running study in Australia monitoring endangered southern right whale populations has recently confirmed the largest number of the marine mammals in their Great Australian Bight breeding grounds since the 26-year census began. Staying in the ocean with a first-of-its-kind sighting, a mouth-breathing dolphin. In 2014, a team of researchers in New Zealand noticed an endangered Hector's dolphin behaving strangely. The animal looked to be surfacing to gulp for air. The little dolphin has been spotted several more times, but scientists are not sure why it's developed this unusual breathing method. And a 4.3-meter crocodile preying on local livestock has been captured in Australia's Northern Territory. Officials decided to trap the colossal reptile amid fears that it could pose a danger to people. After the dramatic extraction, which involved gaffer taping the animal's jaws closed, the croc was transported to a breeding farm. Rounding off with this leopard's amazing acrobatic attack, filmed in South Africa's Sabi Sand Game Reserve, the agile feline manages to outmaneuver a juvenile vervet monkey, landing itself lunch. That's it for today. We want to hear your opinions on these nature news stories. Tell us what you think in the comments below.